Good morning, guys. Welcome to another vloggy vloggy with me. Today is gonna be another fitness slash body update slash food slash just kind of like a daily life thing. I've been having a lot of fun doing these daily things. So I've been slacking a little bit this morning. I woke up, had a cup of coffee, did some Instagram things, and now it's 10 o'clock and I realize that I'm really, really hungry. So I'm gonna take you guys through what I usually eat either every single morning or every single afternoon. I usually get this in at least once a day because it's so freaking good. So what I have here is the protein power cakes, the Kodiak cakes. Oh, whoa, whoa. Um, and I have the cinnamon oat kind, which is super, super, super yummy. I freaking love this. I have my peanut butter, my sugar-free syrup, um, and then, let's see, what do I got going on? And then I do have my turkey bacon right here. I've explained before that turkey bacon is the way to go, and a lot of people ask why it's not real bacon. Blah, blah, blah. Well, turkey bacon, see, see my friends, if you want to build some muscle, you gotta have that high protein diet. So, turkey bacon, very, very high in protein, lower on fat, and then regular bacon, high on fat, low on protein. So, uh, have that, and then my protein pancakes. I'm always, 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 always measure out my peanut butter just because um, it is really high in fat, and if I don't measure it out, I go a little bit, a little bit crazy with it. So, uh, and then the sugar-free syrup. I honestly just don't like the taste of regular syrup. It's way too sugary. So, what you're gonna want to do is get your spray out, zero calorie spray. I get it from Costco, and then just spray your. Oop! Don't get it on the thing like me. Spray your on. Pancake, I always usually burn this thing, so I'm surprised there's only like a little bit of burnt burntness. Got my two little bacons. Turning out my peanut butter and turning on my scale because this is the important part so I don't go overboard. I don't know if you guys can see that. I have like the most awkward angle going on. I just want to let you guys know if there's peanut butter lovers out there like me. Um, or just, you know, fat lovers in general. Like, I, before I started fitness, I didn't realize, like, I, everybody always was like, oh yeah, peanut butter is so healthy for you. It has protein in it. <sighs> mm. See, peanut butter, that is a lot of fat for how little peanut butter you get. And along with, like, coffee creamer, um, I always try to get the sugar-free just because it's lower in fat. But, um... It's extremely high in fat, the regular one is. So just if you're not losing weight um, and you're like, you love your peanut butter, you love your coffee creamer, just kind of keep an eye out for those things because they are really, really high in fat. Um, but yeah, I just made this and I also have a blender bottle. It has two scoops of the organic protein in it, the one serving size. So I'm working on that this morning and yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then we'll get the rest of our day started. All right, just got done eating that. Well, sorry, trying to get on my shoes. Just got done eating that delicious breakfast. I'm actually a little full right now. I actually opened something up in the mail yesterday. And if you don't know what these are, I have a video that I just put up. Um, it, I only went over it briefly, but somebody had stolen my quick release bands off of my Genesis. And I have been using, I was just using one ponytail to hold it on, but holy crap, it's bright out here. It feels so good. Our weather here has been like in the hundreds and today it's like 85, so it actually feels like a normal 
weather for one, which is really awesome. Let me just show you if you guys didn't see kind of what happened. I'm gonna try to find some light here. On my Genesis, these are considered the quick release. So right now I have on ponytails. Uh, last week I only had one on, but it was actually like bending down a lot, like just falling off kind of like that. So I didn't notice for a while, but I did notice that, just take that off, that all of this right in here, somebody decided to just scratch the living crap out of my car. And then with that being hung down, my bumper obviously got caught on some things and now it's starting to crack all along here. So yeah, really, really shitty situation. It kind of like destroys the side of my car, um, but that's okay. I believe I'm gonna get the hood and the bumper resprayed, so um, I'll just take care of that, I guess. But I did get four bands from, I think I just got them on eBay, and I did get the wrong kind. I like the stretchier kind, um, just cause this is kind of a big gap and sometimes I don't know if you guys have this problem with your car, but these will just break super, super easily, so. Ow! Just put that on there, and so now that holds it super, super, super tight. Oh, my poor Jenny. Really need to give her a bath too, but. Um, yeah, so now I have a stock pile, and I also have a st my ponytail is back. Let's check the other side. See, so, and on this side, is perfectly fine like it's getting a little bit loose but you know what I'm just gonna put my extra stock in my car so just in case somebody decides to take some more I will have backup just put them where all my lug nuts are. So yeah, I thought I'd kind of just update you guys. Um, the place I live is kind of, it's a little sketchy. So probably about a month ago, I didn't share this on the camera, but about a month ago, somebody did uh, key my car. So it's not that bad, but I'm gonna show you why we're just checking out the Jenny. So we have a lot of smoke in the air, so last night, my car got drenched with smoke and ash and stuff. But um, yeah, so somebody keyed my car right here. And then this morning I also woke up to this scratch and I doesn't really look like it's a deep one. Like it could just be rubbed off, but still, I mean, what the heck, guys? But it's all fixable. It's all fixable. It's just a car. Um, super simple fix. Honestly, if I just wanted to get Sharpie marker and kind of color that like squiggle in, I think it'd be just fine. Anyways guys, on a separate note, holy crap, my legs are so sore. I am up to 140 in my weight, um, so I am going to jump in to, here, let's go find this good lighting right here. I think I'm kind of liking this. No. Hmm, actually yes. Actually, yes, yes, yes. All right, guys, so I am going to jump into my bathing suit. Okay, so I just got this bikini at Zoffle.com, Zoffle, Zoffle and I really like it. It's a little revealing, so this kind of gives you guys like a real idea of what I look like. Look like. It gives you guys an idea of what I look like right now. So, standing at five, six and a half, I like to say five, seven-ish, and at 139 pounds, this is what I look like right now. Um, so, the lighting is super, super bright, so I don't know how good this is for the physique, but literally have to squeeze to see any abs, arms, Here's a side view. I'm gonna point this down so you guys can see my legs. Here's what the legs look like. Here's what booty looks like right now.
So yeah, body update. When you're trying to gain weight, <laughs> you are going to have cellulite, you are going to have rolls, you are going to gain weight. Ooh, I have like a little, I didn't even notice that. Um, in my stomach, I have like these little lines from my shorts that I was wearing, but we're gonna do this lighting for a second just because I feel like this might be a little bit better. So, yeah, I don't feel bad the, with the way I look right now. I honestly kind of like being a little bit bigger just because a lot of like my butt kind of holds a lot of fat and weight. So when I decide to lose weight, my butt will go away. Which is fine. So, yeah. I'm like excited though to start seeing some definition and get that toned look. I haven't done one of those for a minute or two and I thought that y'all might enjoy that a little bit. For real, my neighbors are literally mowing their, mowing their lawn again. Like, why? Why mow your lawn so much? But I just wanted to say something about losing weight, gaining weight, and getting that toned look. So I've heard men, males and females ask me this before, and I've actually gotten this question a lot on Instagram. Like, I really wanna tone up, I wanna get that nice toned look, I wanna lose weight, but I wanna have that muscly look. So, it's really kind of complicated, I feel like, for me to explain. I've gone over this like 10 times in my head, and this is like the only way I can try to make it make sense. So, to get that toned look, that definition, that good muscly look, girls or boys, you have to have muscle first. So, to gain muscle, you have to you have to gain weight. You have to be um, taking in a lot more calories. You need something to feed your muscles. Your muscles build off of food. They build off the of nutrients. So you need your fats, you need your carbs, you need your protein. For example, I've been in a bulk this last, I don't know, six, seven months, and my calories have been super, super high. My carbs have been high, my fat has been high, my protein has been high. I am gaining weight, I am gaining muscle. Um, I was, I think, 118, 120-ish at my lowest, and now I'm like 140. As you guys saw in my body update, with me bulking and gaining all this muscle, I'm going to eventually do a cut and to cut, I'm going to lower my fats, lower my carbs, and keep my protein right around the same. So I will get that nice toned look. So I just wanna say, if that's you and you're trying to get that nice toned look, then you're gonna have to have muscle first to get that nice toned look. I just wanted to explain that for all the people who have been watching me and watching my fitness journey. Just know that to get this nice toned look, I, which I don't have right now, um, you do have to be on, you have to have muscle before you get that toned look. So you're gonna have to be able to risk it for the biscuit. But thank you guys so much for following me along. And if you wanna see more of these videos, like body updates and workouts and nutrition facts and all that good stuff, just hit that thumbs up button. And remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.